So, you know, if you ask me, it sounds like uh, beginning to a bad joke. So Mick Jagger walked into a Charlotte bar unnoticed, but that's exactly what happened Wednesday night in Charlotte. Pretty amazing here. Local blogger Jeremy Markovich wrote about the Twitter pic that was going viral and the fact that no one noticed that Mick Jagger was having a beer with them. So Jeremy, everybody sees this photo on Twitter, but you took it to a new level, my friend. Tell me about some of the research you did on this Mick Jagger photo. Well, I, I, I woke up in the morning, I saw the picture, and I said, well, what's up with everybody else in that photograph? Nobody is paying attention to Mick Jagger. Like, you would think that's a thing that would happen. Um, so I started trying to track down people who were there. People who were there were like, we didn't even know until this morning that he was there. So then I called the bar owner up, and the bar owner was like, I didn't even know until this morning that Mick Jagger was there. Nobody recognized him, which I thought was was remarkable. And so I kind of went through with the owner, okay, like, do you have his autograph in the credit card receipts? Like, uh, the people who were there, like, how could they not even know that he was there? And it, it just kind of snowballed from there. Tell me about the bar owner, because he did address the credit card situation and the, some of those guys were regulars in the background, right? So he's probably picking on them mercilessly now. Yeah, that was the thing. I was like, I don't want to make fun of them. I really would, I would feel terrible if it was me and I miss Mick Jagger. And he was like, no, make fun of them. Please make fun of them. That's all I've been doing all morning long. And it was because they had tickets to the show and Mick Jagger is five feet away from them and they don't even recognize him now he's wearing like a black get up and a, and a hat you know he's not like in full Mick Jagger regalia at that point but they didn't even know so it's like this is as close as you're ever going to get and you had no idea he was sitting there and and the owner was like you know what kind of beer was he drinking well he doesn't know because uh the bartender didn't recognize Mick Jagger and also he paid cash like there was no credit card receipt with Mick Jagger's autograph on it so so all of these kind of questions about when he was there and how long he was there and even like who took the picture, um, you know, tried to find the answers out, but we haven't been successful so far. Well, Jeremy, you have made my week, my friend, because I looked at this and said, you have got to be kidding me. And you said the same thing. So thanks for your time today. Mick Jagger shared that photo on his Twitter and followers. They had a lot to say about this. So Kevin Day zoomed in on the photo and tweeted the man in that hat should turn around because Mick Jagger is having a beer behind him. Another user responded and said the guy in the hat was actually his buddy. He said he called to tell him the news. Daniel Newman, who in Charlotte, North Carolina is going to believe Mick Jagger is at the Thirsty Beaver Saloon. Celebrities can walk around the East Coast with no problem because nobody believes it's actually them. And then another user wrote, did the bartender even notice that you are you? It's funny because so I asked him that <laughs> he said he talked to the bar owner about that. He said, well, our bartender that particular time frame of that day was very young, oh. probably didn't know what Mick Jagger looked like. <laughs> and that that was probably part of the part of the problem. But I thought I think it's so funny that if you look at the groups on either side uh -huh. of them, they're involved in their own conversations. But Mick's looking at the ca camera, you know, drinking yeah. a beer. He's just chilling. Yeah, just chilling without a care in the world. I bet those folks are kicking themselves oh, right my now because they could have met such but, a big celebrity. You know what I was thinking? What? I was in Charlotte Wednesday night. <gasps> Remember? You could have you could have met to, him. I know. And if it had I known, I didn't even know about that place. But they said he said uh, Jeremy said that he um uh, that he was so obsessed with it that yeah. he started photoshopping, enhancing the photo and zooming in, trying to see what kind of <laughs> beer he was drinking. Very funny. And this yeah. thing has gone viral all over. I mean, so I think CNN picked it up okay. and USA Today. So it's been a national story as well. I wonder how often he gets away with this. It probably feels good to just like not have the rush of fans, but also like, you know, just to pick fun that, hey, they don't see that I'm here. It's so funny. <laughs> this should be, he should do this at yeah. every stop. Like a where, where's Waldo yeah, type of situation. Right. <laughs> it almost makes you wonder since those people didn't see him, I wonder if he photoshopped himself in. That would be hilarious <laughs> if that's what all that this is about. That would get everybody yeah. talking about a photoshop photo. <laughs>